My name is Nathan Roberts and I am Senior Lecturer at Glyndor University teaching Games Design and Immersive Technology. To be fair, I, when I was younger I really enjoyed mathematics and had a fantastic time. A great tutor that made learning maths extremely fun. As I got older, um, my sort of love for mathematics died out unfortunately because I was doing it time and time again. Um, I started to get a little bit bored of the subject area. Um, one of the downsides is, is that I didn't realise how important it was going to be when I got older. I use maths every day in my career, so particularly I specialise in 3D character generation for games environments. The types of environments are purely mathematical, so when I say this it uses stuff like graphs to manipulate animation, timelines, we look at resolutions for creating the characters themselves, so even down to textures, where anything that you see that's 3D will be a series of polygons, and the polygons themselves are mathematically created. So, and everything associated in some way, whether it's just down to managing teams from their time, uh, the time they've got to work on something, to anything from the actual implementation of it in an environment such as its resolution, that's the type of stuff that I'm involved with. So, generally, an overview of that is the creation of assets for games and the implementation of these within a game engine. Particularly for me, maths is used in scaling for, for generation of particles, uh, polygons, which are the components that we use to create the 3D models that you see, see in games. So at the moment, what I'm using a lot of mathematics for is animation. This can be from devising what frame rates that we're working at, so how fast an animation will be to the type of medium that we're going to create it on, such as television, even in the cinema, to handheld devices, they all work differently and they all require different mathematical values. So other things that we use a lot of maths for in the type of work is for controlling the, the rates of speeds, and we do that through using graphs and something known as a Bezier curve. So we have working with angles, we're working with timelines, we're also working a lot with spreadsheets to devise how the distribution of values will work within a scene. What advice would I have for kids in school? Pay a lot of attention to maths. Myself, as I said, I really, really enjoyed mathematics when I was in school. That, over the years, because when you're a kid and you're having it again and again and again, you, you Type there, you seem to go, oh, I can't see the benefits of this, or I'm never going to use that. Uh, you'll find that you're wrong. Maths is used so much in my life, and what I would say to kids is stick with it, right? You'll be surprised. I myself always used to say, I'm never going to use this, and now in my career, there's not one day that goes by that I'm not using mathematics in some way. Now, what advice would I have for myself when I was younger is just pay more attention in class. Maths can be a versatile subject area. Uh, I'm speaking about using mathematics in my own career, but there's not one component in life that you won't be using maths. To put it into a good perspective, if you look at languages around the world and people speaking all different types of languages, well, numbers is the one universal language that everybody will speak, and it will be used in every aspect of your life.